Uh, hi everyone. In this video, I'd like to uh, compare the characteristic of two main types of DC motors, the shunt motor and the series motor. And specifically, I will talk about uh, the torque speed characteristics, how the speed of the motor is affected as we are increasing the load on the shaft of the of the motor. Uh, and to do that, I will use a simulation package that simulate motors and try to mimic real uh, life scenarios. Uh, and this package uh, is called uh, Automation Studio. So let's start with some background about DC motors as we know that the motors dc motors are composed of two main components the first one is the armature circuit or the rotor this is the the rotor where it rotates inside the the motor we connect the load to the shaft of the of the rotor and here you can see there is windings and for that we will have what we call the armature winding then we will have the field circuit where it produces the magnetic field that is required to have the uh, the motor to uh, to rotate when we apply the voltage to it the interaction of the current and the magnetic field will result in the force or the rotation of the of the rotor or the armature and here we have the the field the field winding so basically the these two different types of DC motors, the shunt and the series, refers to how we connect these two windings, how we connect the armature winding with the field with the field windings. So the word shunt means parallel. So basically we connect the armature winding and the field winding in parallel. So the voltage that we apply is the same voltage across these two windings. On the other hand, the series motor, we have the armature winding and the field winding. They are connected in series. So let's go now and let's have a look to the package and see how the characteristic, how the speed of the motor is affected uh, when we compare these two different types of motors. So this is the, the model that we will use. This is the circuit model that we will have here. So basically we have a motor, we have a switch, we have an ammeter, and we have a DC supply. So they are identical. Before we, we uh, run the simulation and see the impact of it changing the torque on the shaft on the speed, let me double click on the first motor here, and let's see some of the characteristic of that motor. So basically this is a shunt motor. So again, field and the armature windings are connected in parallel. If we uh, scroll down here, it shows here the nominal torque. It's a 3.2 Newton meter. What is this nominal torque? When you run the machine at no load, okay? So there is nothing connected to the shaft. There is still some torque it has to overcome coming from the inertia of your, of your rotor. Okay, so it, for this, that, this machine is 3.2 Newton meter. There is the rated current, 6.8 amp. When you work at no load, so this is the current that you will have. The rated speed or the no, no load speed is around 3000 RPM. The rated torque, the maximum torque you can apply is 100 Newton meter and your rated voltage is 180 volt. Now, if you come here and click on the other motor, it's a series motor as well. And if you scroll down here, the nominal torque 3.2, so the same nominal torque, the same rated current, RBM, rated torque, and voltage. So these two motors, except for the connection, they are basically identical motors. So now let's turn on here we the, the simulation package. Okay, and I will turn on the switch of both machines. And this is the, the top one is the shunt. The speed is around 3000 RPM. And the series also three are uh, uh, 3000 RPM. The rated current 6.8, 6.8. The voltage is 180 volt. So that is actually what we have seen in the characteristic. Now I will click here and I will change the load torque from 3.2 
which is the nominal low uh, torque, which is the inertia of the machine. I will add it to or increase it to 10 and see what will happen to the speed from 3000 RPM. There is a drop, but a slight drop in the on the speed. Now let's go to the series motor and do exactly the same thing and make it 10 and see how much the speed will be affected. See here, it's a, it drops from around 3000 to around 1680. Okay, so it's a huge drop in the, the speed of the motor. Let's come here and let me double this, make it 20 uh, for the shunt. Again, drops, but still the the amount of the change in the speed is a little bit small compared to the series when we double it here, it drops to 1176. So clearly you can see here there is a distinct difference in the characteristic of the shunt motor with respect or versus the, the series motor, which is that you can see that the, the speed regulation of the shunt motor is much better. Increasing the load will result in decreasing the speed, but the change in the speed is very, very little compared to the to the series motor. Now, if you go here and let me show you that when we do a different uh, torque, I, I did it until 50 Newton meter, which is 50% of the rating. You can clearly see the difference between the shunt motor and the series motor. So any applications uh, that you want to use that requires that the speed of the motor doesn't affect much. If you increase the load, then your shunt motor is your choice. This doesn't mean that the series motor is just bad motor. No, it has some other advantages. We might talk about them in another video.